Hi, this is Jacob from the Azure portal. Today I would like to show you how to deploy your website with GitHub. So I have one website that I created in a previous episode called Azure Tips and Tricks. And I want to show you how to deploy it directly from GitHub. So how to connect your GitHub repo to, to the website so it will automatically deploy when you commit your code into GitHub. So I will go to settings and I will type GitHub you can see it will smartly filter out deployment source. I will click on deployment source. And here I can choose my deployment source. And one of the options is GitHub. So I'll click GitHub. I already am authenticated with GitHub because I did this before. But uh, if this is the first time when you try to configure GitHub with your website, you will have to authorize. I'm already authorized as JG09. This is my GitHub account. And here I need to choose the project I want to connect. And I have this project, Azure Tips and Tricks. There's only one uh, index HTML file here. And I'll choose this Azure Tips and Tricks here, uh, branch master, as it is here. I mean master branch. And I'll click OK. And now it's setting up deployment source, it's successful. And now uh, after a few seconds, it will check for my uh, commits and it will synchronize to my GitHub. Okay, you can see now it's fetching the data from GitHub. And after a while, uh, it will uh, deploy. Uh, let me show you really quick. Uh, here's my uh, code. I'll open this with Visual Studio Code. You can see there is uh, only one file, index.html, which is synced to GitHub. So this is the same thing. Okay, my initial comment is synchronized. I can go to the URL and you can see here, uh, I have my website deployed. Uh, what, but what I can do now when I have my website deployed with GitHub is, you know, I can either change it from code. So let's say I want to add my blog link, jg09.net. So if you click on my name, you can go to my blog and you can find more about me. I click save. I'll go to, back to console and say commit to blog. Click enter. I'll push it to GitHub. And now if you go back to the Azure portal, and if you uh, wait a few seconds, the deployment will be detected. And here it is. Add link to blog. Its active branch is already deployed. I can refresh this, and it's here. Even more, you know, with GitHub, it's cool that you know you can go to your repo. Let me refresh this, and I can edit directly here. I can say edit this file. Let's say let let me add my Twitter as well. So we'll say href https twitter.com slash Jacob Jedrishek. And my Twitter handle, Jacob Jedrishek. And this looks good. And now I can just uh, preview the changes, make sure everything is fine. Okay, uh, looks good to me. Now I can comment it and say add Twitter. Click comment changes. And again, go back to the Azure portal. Wait a few seconds. And uh, GitHub deployment is detected. Uh, it's synchronizing it. And it's active. Now I will refresh. And here's my Twitter handle. So now we can go either to my blog or either to my uh, Twitter account. You can just confirm if my Twitter works and my blog uh, works as well. So this is how you can deploy your website with GitHub on the new Azure portal. And if you have any questions or suggestions about the Azure portal, please tweet me at Jacob Jedrushek or send me an email. You can find my contact information on my blog, jg09.net.